Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change MySQL data directory location in Windows machine. So this can be very much a real scenario when uh, you have installed uh, MySQL on one of the directory, let's say C drive or D drive, and then uh, you, you are running out of storage. Uh, there could be multiple ways uh, you might uh, ask for extension uh, or uh, adding more disk to the same uh, drive uh, or you will be adding a new disk and then uh, you want to move your data directly to that uh, disk. So let's go ahead and take a look how we can do that. First of all, uh, let's uh, check the services of what we have running on this uh, server. server. In my case, I have uh, multiple uh, MySQL server installed on this machine. One is uh, MySQL AD and one is uh, MySQL QA. I'm going to change uh, the data directory location for MySQL AD. So if I will open Workbench, I have given the name to this uh, uh, MySQL prod. So you can see that right there. I am opening the connection. If I go to the server status, uh, uh, you can see it is running on port uh, 3306 uh, and uh, that's uh, um, all you can see here base uh, directory C program files MySQL MySQL uh, MySQL server 8.0 da data directory is uh, C program data MySQL uh, MySQL server 8.0 uh, backslash data that's where our data directory is currently now if I'm running out of the space on C drive I want to move to D drive or E drive so that's where we will uh, be doing this okay first of all you will uh, shut down or uh, stop your service so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the service second part uh, you will be creating a new directory on the new disk uh, or maybe the same disk and then you will be moving uh, the data directory to that uh, location so in our case uh, our data directory is uh, right here if i will go to the c program data and then we have uh, mysql we have mysql server and that's where our data directory is okay what i would like to do i'm gonna go ahead and copy this uh, data directory and uh, I will move to the uh, maybe I will move to the root so let's say C and uh, here I will move uh, on the C drive directory instead of those all the folders so uh, I don't uh, have a whole lot of drives here to demonstrate so that's why I'm just moving to the same uh, drive but different location so here uh, on C drive and uh, what you do uh, what you're gonna do next I'm gonna go back to the that location uh, where we have a uh, C program uh, MySQL uh, and uh, my C, uh, MySQL server 8.0 and I'm gonna rename this uh, directory so that will make sure let's say we call it uh, backup or deleted okay we will uh, delete this uh, directory once the service uh, um, start running uh, I just uh, renamed it so make sure uh, even we st restart the service it will not use this directory okay so the last step what you will be doing you will be going to the my.ini file and that's also in a C program data my SQL my SQL server 8.0 and that's where this uh, my uh, an INI file is if you go to the workbench that's a little confusing here maybe a bug so it is telling you your configuration file is C program data MySQL MySQL server 5.5 so it is 8.0 if you are in, in working with the uh, version 8.0 uh, somehow they didn't update this part of it so don't worry about this part so you are going to the MySQL server 8.0 uh, we are here double click open it and we are looking for data directory so path to the database root that's where it is okay call it data dir and if you look at the uh, old uh, directory path c program data mysql mysql server 8.0 and data in, in our case we will remove all that and we have our data directory on the root uh, on c drive right there so that's that's all we will do we will hit uh, uh, control s save it close it now go back to services i'm gonna close the workbench as well so we'll refresh go to services my sql ad right click and start okay so we have some errors 
so what could be the error now um, once well, one of the big error uh, if you will uh, move your data directory from one location to another location maybe the folder you have created doesn't have the permission so let's go back here and uh, take a look on the permissions here uh, from the old so go to security and we can see that we have a system network service we have um, Asia's are the administrators users and all that let's go to the C drive where we have moved our data directory so let's check the permission there so we go to security and you see that we don't have network service uh, uh, added here also you can check from here see your uh, MySQL AD is running by using a network service uh, if you are using a, uh, some uh, service account uh, then that service account should have the permission on this uh, folder so I can go ahead and add that uh, network service okay and give a full permission to it okay now we should be good after providing the permission on the folder let's uh, you try to restart the service again okay the service is running now it's all good and uh, what we are going to do here we are going to go to this uh, folder and uh, check the databases we don't have uh, uh, let's say we do not have a, a database called tbit so if we will create that that folder should be created here so i'm going to go back to the workbench connect to this uh, uh, mysql server check the location so go to server status here and you can see that uh, data disk space in directory uh, right here so you have data directory c data that's where it is so it read the whole thing right and now we are good next part what we will do we will create a database so we open a new query and say create database tbit okay and then we execute the statement a new uh, schema or uh, database will be created okay so we will go somehow this doesn't refresh sometime okay tbit right here all right so we'll go back uh, here in the folder and uh, you can see that tbit uh, database folder is created on the new location c data if we go to the old location we can actually delete uh, that old location now we don't need that anymore so if i go to the c program data and then i can uh, delete that so i will say uh, don't go ahead and then we copy and just uh, don't delete the actual folder right away uh, keep it for uh, some time you know and uh, restart your service create a database create tables and uh, perform all the testing and once you are done with all testing and you feel comfortable like okay your mysql mysql is working fine and then you can uh, delete the uh, old data folder from the old drive thank you very much for watching this video if you like it subscribe it i will see you guys in next video